Hi everyone, in this video I will show you a tutorial for the simulator modern elevator traffic design that is done using MATLAB. This simulator evaluates the traffic parameters using Monte Carlo simulation that relies on generating random scenarios to find a numerical result. And then traffic design is used to find the suitable number of elevators and the suitable car capacity and the suitable elevator rated speed. Herent play approach is used for design, which is a graphical method of design that compromises between the handling capacity and the target interval. The left side of the simulator presents the input side, which is divided to three main parts. The elevator specification, which are door opening and closing time, the distance between two adjacent floors, the rated acceleration and the rated jerk, and the rate is with that I will talk about it later. And the passenger specification, which are the total population of the building, the passenger boarding and alighting time, the arrival rate to the building, and the traffic percentages, which are incoming, outgoing, interfloor, and inter entrance. And finally, the building specification, which are the number of entrance floors and the number of occupant floors and the target interval in seconds, which is time spent by the elevator to serve every passenger during one journey, and the number of trials for the Monte Carlo simulation. This table can be used if the building has different floor populations or different floor heights or different arrival percentages for the entrances. And for the speed selection, the user has two options. He can fill the speed he wants from custom, or he can leave it standard and the design will choose the suitable speed for the building. The right side of the simulator presents the output side. Here you can see the Herent plane, which will compromise between the handling capacity, which is the vertical axis, and the actual interval, which is the horizontal axis. It will show you the compromisation and how it will reach its final point. And here, there are the design results which presents the traffic parameters that the Monte Carlo evaluated like the round trip time and the average traveling time and the design output like the car capacity, the rate of speed and the number of elevators. The simulator has the three buttons Run, which will run the simulator after you fill the entries Check, will check if the entries are filled correctly and examples that can show you how to fill the entries if we press example, all entries are filled and the simulator is now running. As you can see here in the table, there are different populations and different floor heights and different arrival percentages for the entrances. The average traveling time in this example is not calculated because it has conditions. It should only incoming. And the number of trances should be 1. If we now press run, we can see that the average traveling time is calculated. And for the check button, it will check if the floor population's summation is equal to the total population. For example, if we put this 200 and press check, the data is not acceptable. But if we maybe change this to 50 and check, the data will be accepted. And it will check if the summation of the percentages here is not 100. If we change this to 80 and check, the data is not accepted. If we put this 20 and check, the data will be accepted. If you have other questions, you can email me on my email that will be on the description.